Good afternoon, everyone. Bob Maselli here with Fagor Automation. Uh, today, we're going to discuss Fagor's uh, conversational programming system. Um, I have downloaded the Fagor simulator. Uh, there's a link down below this video that you can download it for free. And it gives you the ability to kind of work with the simulator, work with the conversational programs, get a feel for the control. Very, very handy, very good to have. Uh, today, I'm going to give just a brief overview of the conversational side of the control. Right now, we're looking at the what we call the G-code side of the control. And to get to conversational software, it's very easy to hit your shift escape key, and that's going to get you over to conversational. And again, this is just going to be a brief overview, so let's take a look at the screen and see what we've got. Uh, obviously, to our left-hand side here, we've got our coordinates, X, Y, and Z. Down below that, we've got the current spindle speed. Uh, off to the right, what tool uh, we have, what our feed rate is, and what our spindle speed is. If we concentrate and take a look down below the, uh, the location screen, we have four tabs that you can see. Uh, if you hover the mouse over each one of these tabs, it'll tell you a brief description as to what the tab actually entails. And I'm just gonna cycle through these real fast. So machining in Z, also known as drilling cycles. Uh, if you take a look, there's a small arrow off to the top left. If you hit that arrow, it's gonna open up a submenu. And the submenu will give you the different drilling functions that we have available uh, in the software. If we move over to the next tab, uh, the next tab, which is pockets and bosses, uh, we can uh, take a look at the submenu and see that we've got simple rectangular pockets and off down the line here, different ways of programming different types of pockets and bosses. Uh, what's real nice too is Favor gives you the option to turn and on and off which cycles you want to have viewed. Uh, by your end user. Uh, take a look at the next uh, cycle over. That's 2D and 3D pockets. This gives you the ability to do 2D work and also some very, very complex, as you can see here, 3D work. Uh, Figor does a nice job of giving you a graphic as to what they're looking for, and then your fields where you would plug in the information needed to complete the cycle. Uh, what we're going to do is as we build our tool, as our, we build our library, our video library, we'll go into, into depth into each cycle to give you some insight as to how to use each individual cycle. Uh, but let's continue on. Uh, the next one that we have over uh, is more of a profile uh, type of um, uh, menu. Uh, we've got uh, profile by points. Uh, we've got simple profile, we've got the surface milling where you're doing your face milling or your decking type of work and also grooving type of work. Um, all right, for now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to our first tab here, which is the drilling cycles, and I'm going to pull your attention over to this tab right down here. Repetitions. Uh, repetitions are also uh, different types of drilling cycles where you can do a linear uh, drill point array, you can do circular pockets, um, you can also do rectangular pockets, uh, grid pockets, and random points. Um, very good to have. Uh, for now, I'm going to take a look a little closely at the circular pockets. In order to toggle between the different repetition cycles, you can either click on the icon with the mouse, uh, or you can navigate using the up and down keys, uh, arrow keys on your keyboard, sometimes known as your cursor keys, and use the space bar to select the repetition cycle you want, or you can simply use the half key that's on the control itself. And if you take a look down here in the green area, it will give you a brief description of what we're looking for in order to uh, program the bolt hole pattern. And as you go through the conversational cycles, you're going to see that Faker did a very, very good job of laying everything out very similar. So once you get used to one of the cycles, the other cycles kind of fall all into place. Um, for now, I'm going to go back to our main menu. And by doing that, I'm going to hit our escape key. And that's going to get me back to the main menu. And pull your attention over to the right-hand side of the screen. Um, there are additional tabs there that give you tool inspection. If this was an actual machine that we were running, we'd be able to pull the tool up in the middle of a cycle and inspect the tool and then resume uh, your, your G-code, go, go back to cutting. Uh, also. Uh, there's a graphics where we can define our graphics. Are we going to be using solid graphics? Are we going to be using three-dimensional uh, graphics? Or are we going to be using uh, two-dimensional graphics where we're looking at like the X, Y uh, uh, coordinates? You also have your offset page and you also have your measure page. Uh, this is more of the tool calibration 
uh, where you're going to set the height, your tool offset heights. Again, we will go into each one of these in more detail as we go down the line. Um, for now, I thank you for your attention with this. Uh, if you have any comments, if you like what you see, please subscribe to our channel. Leave us a comment. Let us know how we did. Let us know if there's something that you want a little more information on. We'll be more than happy to get back to you just as soon as we can. Thanks again for watching.